And finally, three of Delhi's iconic buildings, which have been symbols of India's history and culture, the National Museum, the National Archives, our next building, and the Indira Gandhi In National Center for the Arts, are set to be demolished, all part of the government's Central Vistra project. NDTV brings you this report that tells you more about the value of these institutions and why architects and historians are criticizing the move. As Delhi gets a facelift as part of the government's Central Vista project worth 20,000 crore rupees, other Delhi institutions are set to be demolished. The National Museum, the National Archives Building, Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts, Shastri Bhavan, Krishi Bhavan, Vigyan Bhavan, Vice President's Residence, Jawahar Bhavan, Nirman Bhavan, Udyog Bhavan and the Raksha Bhavan. The total area to be demolished is 4,58,820 square meters. Artists and historians are questioning the move. The National Museum holds thousands of invaluable original sculptures, rare idols, priceless coins, paintings and jewelry that connect several points of political and cultural history. These objects will be shifted to North Block or South Block. While the main building of the National Archives will remain intact, the annex will be demolished and a new building constructed. The archival records kept here include 45 lakh files, 25,000 rare manuscripts, over a lakh maps and 1.3 lakh Mughal documents. Most of these documents are brutal and any careless handling could lead to irrevocable damage and loss. The Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts holds a rich collection of heritage pieces, manuscripts and an impressive library. All this will be temporarily shifted to the Janpath Hotel which has been renovated for the purpose. Recently, in an open letter addressed to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, a group of over 80 public intellectuals and scholars from India and abroad, including historian Romila Thapar, critic and scholar Gayatri Spivak, and writer Orhan Pamuk called for a halt and reconsideration of the government's Central Vista redevelopment project and said, It is especially troubling that this extravagant project is moving ahead in the midst of a devastating pandemic. The current escalating health crisis calls for a pause and a reset. In the short term, all priorities and resources should be directed at combating the pandemic. In the long term, there should be public consultations so that the future of India's institutions, heritage architecture and historical collections can be determined through a democratic process. The details of the Central Vista demolition are opaque. It is unclear, for example, how the National Museum art objects will be stored and eventually displayed. In February this year, the centre told Lok Sabha that all listed heritage buildings, precincts in the Central Vista region shall be protected and any renovation work shall be taken up after approval of Heritage Conservation Committee. But architects question these claims. From a historical and town planning point of view, the demolition of the National Museum and IGNCA is wrong. The government claims that it is still doing conserving the heritage. Again, it is wrong because it is conserving a few buildings and that also the skeletons of the buildings. So, in other words, what they're doing is the heritage is being conserved by, uh, by conserving the building but hollowing out its meaning. Amid criticism of the project, the government recently prohibited photography and video recording of the Central Vista construction work and in court requested dismissal of petitions against the project by calling the petitions an abuse of the process of law. In New Delhi, with camera person Prem Singh, this is Sukirti Duvedi for NDTV.